Hello everybody, my name is Kurt Blue and welcome to part 10 in the Stream I'll Do It tutorial series. Now we're going to be continuing on from the previous video, um, which was drawing hoods. Now, if any of you watched that video, you would know that we had wrote this script. And if we go into the game and we execute this, Lua underscore open script CL, and it's test.lua. As you can see, we drew the text hello world and we did some fancy little boxes on the screen. So what I wanted to do in this video is pretty much go more in depth with kind of what, what we can do with hood painting. So I'm going to bring up the Gmod wiki and I'm going to search the draw library and show you, um, there you go, library draw, show you what it says. So the draw library's purpose is to simplify the usage of the surface library in which it is. Now the surface library is pretty much like the draw library, except it's, it's more in depth and requires more work to do things, but you are less limited and can do a lot more. Uh, let's take, for example, uh, draw poly will allow you to draw a specific shape with X and Y coordinates, uh, on the screen. So that one, as you can see, it says here, draws a triangle. Uh, this is some of you may find that a bit complicated, but that's, uh, somebody drawing a circle where you can define how many segments there are and the radius of the circle. So yeah, what what extra things does the surface library require well if we go to surface um and say for example we wanted to draw just a rectangle here okay now it draws a solid rectangle on the screen now you'll notice that it only takes four parameters the x and y position and the width and the height of the box so you may be wondering well how do i define its color well first you would have to do something like surface dot set color which is set draw color sorry which is here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you an example i'm going to get rid of all of this here and I'm going to do surface dot draw. Sorry, my bad. Draw rectangle. Sorry, is that a capital? My bad. Uh, it. Oh, it's just draw rect. Sorry, my bad. Dot draw rect. Okay, now this takes two parameters. So we're going to do it 10 by 10. And we'll do it 100 by 100. Um, so let's go ahead and in the game run this. As you can see, we don't actually get anything. Um, nothing appears there. Even though our script is indeed running, nothing appears. So why is this? Well, to get started, we never specified a color for it to draw in. So it doesn't draw in a color. So we can do surface.setDrawColor. And we could say um, 120, 120, 255, because it's a nice color. And we'll set the alpha to 255 as well. Now, for those of you are wondering, because I don't think I covered it in the previous video, alpha is basically transparency, zero being completely invisible, 255 being completely visible. So now if we go ahead and run this, as you can see, we actually get a box up in the corner of our screen. And if we draw another rectangle directly after that, um, like I'll draw this one, we'll go 110 down. As you can see, it's going to... Here, let me go ahead and just um, draw a bit more down. And as you can see, the boxes are the same colors. But what we can do is we can then set the surface dot set draw color. And here we can go ahead and do a different color. And that's going to go ahead and then change the draw color as it's drawn. Now, I hope that kind of makes sense. Like, say, for example, we wanted to draw text. Text is a bit more advanced. First of all, we have to do surface.sectTextPos. And you've got to define where you want the text to draw. And then we've got to do surface.setFont. And then we've got to set the font. So we'll set it to whatever. Then we've got to do surface.setTextColor. We'll set the color to a color of 120. Oh. 255, 120, 120, and then we'll do surface dot draw text. And the text we're going to draw is going to be hello world. So just like we did before, but as you can see, that got us the same result, but required instead of one line, four lines of code. Now, don't be put off by this. It is a bit more code, but it totally pays off. You can do a lot more. Um, but yeah, like in terms of drawing things like PNGs and stuff, we will be getting into those in another video. But what our primary focus is basically is how can we, we use these different tools to draw useful things. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to draw a health bar that changes based on our health. Now, in the next video, um, we'll be covering Derma. 
and doing drawing like this is is very important because even when doing derma which is basically vgui even then when you want to override the default derma you're going to be using draw functions to to override them so anyway let's go ahead and get started um i'm going to make a variable i'm going to call it health and i'm going to set equal to local player remember we can do local player because we're on the client and for those actually i'm not even going to give you an explanation you can just simply do health like this and this will return the health of the player you called it on. So we called it on local player, which is us. And we're retrieving the health. We store it in the health. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do draw.roundedbox. And we're going to set the roundedness to zero. We're going to set the X and Y position to be 10 by 10. And we're going to set the, the width to be 100 and the height to be 10. Okay. And we're going to simply do it in a color of... 2551, oops, 2551201120 because that's more of a, a reddish color. Now I want to note that if you don't define the alpha, like you don't do another comma and do 255, then it'll just default to 255 anyway. Um, but now as you can see, we get that tiny little red bar in there. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing this, I'm going to do 30. And instead of doing 100, I'm going to do 300. And this is going to make the box, whoops, I did that wrong. This is supposed to still be 10. This is supposed to be 30. And this... It's supposed to be 300. So now when we go ahead and run it, and I did it wrong again, 330, my apologies. Now when we run this, as you can see, our bar is, is much bigger here, our 10 here. So now what can we do to this? We want this to change to our health. So some of you may have picked it up already, but this, this variable here is basically, or this value, is how far uh, or the width of the box that we're drawing at. So we could, in fact, just put the health variable in here. And then if our health is, say, 50, then it's going to draw 50 pixels across. So now if I go ahead and rerun it, you can kind of see how it looks like it's shrunk, but it's actually 100 pixels. And if I fly up and slam into the ground, as you can see, you may have seen it. It's gone down a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more. So the problem with that is, though, is it's not the length of the box that we originally intended. So I'm going to go ahead and... Instead of just doing health, I'm going to do health times 3. Because the health goes between 0 and 100. And I wanted the width of my box, the maximum width of my box, to be 300. So simply by times in this by 3, that would work. So if I go in game and I kill myself and I rerun the script. Now as you can see, my health box, health box sorry, is all the way at the top. And if I go ahead and take damage, as you can see, it'll keep jumping down until eventually, once I reach the end... Whoops, I am, oh, whoops, there we go, I am dead. And there is no half bar then, because it's zero. So I hope that makes sense to you. Now, obviously we can make this look a bit more fancy. We can uh, we can bring up our sublime. I think my sublime has, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another box right behind it, draw a rounded box. Okay, now I'm gonna set the roundedness to zero. But instead of doing this at 10 by 10, I'm gonna do this at eight by eight, right? now. This is a little bit up and a little bit to the left compared to what this box is drawn at. But then for the width and the height, I'm going to do the width at three, uh, wait, was it? It would be 300. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to plus four to that. Okay, now I'll explain why in a minute. And same for this, we're going to do 30 plus four. Now we plus four because we went two pixels behind here and we want to go two pixels over. So we go ahead and add that four. And what this is going to do is if I just go ahead and do a color first, I'll do a color of just, I'll do a gray. There we go. Now when I go ahead and draw this, I get an error because I missed out a bracket somewhere. I did. There we go. My bad. So now when I run it, you can barely see that. Oh, there you go. Now you can. You can kind of see that gray outline around the box. The reason why that's happening is because we drew the box slightly up and slightly to the left and we drew the box longer than the other box. So it overlaps like this. I hope that makes sense to you. So then what happens is when we lose health, only one of the boxes is going to change and the other one is going to stay there. Now, what we can also do is we can go ahead and do uh, draw dot simple text. Actually, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do the simple text and, uh, on top of the health bar. Okay. Now we're going to align, we're going to, whoops, we'll do the text first. This text is going to be the health. Now, if you haven't seen my Lua tutorial series, I recommend you go check it out. But what we can do is do a double dot and then add a percent sign. Okay. Now, this is going to mean whatever the value health is, plus percent, it's going to turn that into a string. Now, the second one is the font. We already have a font made up here. And it's called whatever. 
We have X and Y positions. Now, the, for the X and Y, I'm actually going to do uh, 10, which is where our bar starts, as you can see by here. So that we're going to do 10, and then we're going to plus 150, which is half of 300, okay? So it's going to draw in the center of where that box is. And for the Y position, we're probably going to go ahead and do the same. So the Y is 30, so we're going to go ahead and do 10, and then we're going to plus 15, because 15 is half of 30. I hope that makes sense. Now, as for this color, we're just going to go ahead and make it kind of like, well, we'll just make it a pure white. Now for the X line and Y line, we're going to set those both to 1, which means it's going to center it on the X and center it on the Y. So now when we go ahead and we run our script, as you can see, we get a very big 70% there. So you maybe want to change the size of this font down to like 25 maybe. And there you go. As you can see, inside of our, uh, our health box, it says 70%, 70 and if I take damage, it says 60, 50, 40, and 30, and so on, all the way down to, if I can get this last one, there you go, 0%. So I hope that makes sense to you. Now you can do that with whatever you want. Uh, you could do that with a player's uh, armor, if the player has armor. You could do it with ammo, um, but a lot of VGUI is just basically maps and positioning. Now, I will cover one more thing in this video. It is getting pretty long, and I do apologize. And that's something that a lot of people get confused about. And it's, you know, how do I make a hood that fits on every single resolution? Because you may want something to be at the very bottom left of the screen, but on your, on your screen, the resolution may be really high. On mine, it may be really low, meaning that when you're drawing it at, say, 5,000 pixels down on the Y, that's off on my screen. I'm not going to be able to see that. So a lot of people get confused on how can I actually do that. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to get one down in the bottom left. Uh, in the bottom left. So you see where it says health already, part of the default GUI. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a hood on top of that. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can make it fit with any resolution. So we go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to change our Y position. Okay, now, first of all, I want to make this clear that if we do... Um, I'll just call this, well, actually, I don't even need to do that. I'll show you that if we do screen W or that, those two return the width of the screen in pixels and the height of the screen in pixels. So you can always find out how what, what the resolution is of other people. And if I go ahead and just print out screen width there and then screen height there, and I go ahead and run this script. As you can see in my console, it tells me that my resolution right now is 1768 by 992. That's not my screen resolution, that's my game resolution, okay? So now if I go ahead and do some basic mathematics. So if I were to go ahead and change the Y position of this to, whoops, if I go ahead and change it to the screen height, okay? And I'll just go ahead and plus that eight, minus that eight, sorry. And I'll do the same for this one. I'll go ahead and set the Y position to that. Whoops. That. And then minus 10. Now we're going to be minusing. And the reason why we minus is because remember that the top left of the screen is 0, 0. Bottom is positive. So if we want to go up the screen, we got a negative from the Y value. That probably made no sense. I do apologize. But now when we run our script, as you can see, it may seem like nothing is working. And you may be able to see that box that's down in the bottom over there. Uh, like in the very bottom left, you see that red bit. And that's because it's drawn at the bottom of our screen. So what we can do is instead of minus an 8, we could minus maybe 100. Okay. And in, instead of minus in 100 here, we could minus 98. And that, that should line them up. So now when I run my script, as you can see, it's not in the very bottom left, but it's it's near the bottom left. Now, the thing with this is because it's doing it based on the screen height. If I go into my options and I go to my video settings and I change my resolution to even lower... And there we go. As you can see, it moved up with it anyway, because it's based on that variable of the screen height, which is the screen resolution of the person's game. I didn't move the text. I do apologize. Now, I hope this made sense. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.